Ticks carrying the disease typically live in forested areas. A lot of trees and a lot of grass are a breeding ground for ticks. Ticks. Tick. Tick. The tick population has spiked. Ticks are gross. There's no getting around that. Luckily, though, they're typically found far from the comforts of your inner city home. So out of sight, out of mind, right? Well, maybe not. Here's why some think that Canada's historic wildfire season could be pushing ticks towards a city like yours. Well, the, the animals that can move are going to try to avoid the fire, and the city is the most likely place that it's not actually going to be on fire. While their menacing little legs won't take them far on their own, ticks can travel great distances once they've attached to a host, which is typically a small rodent or a bird. Meanwhile, some research shows that habitat destruction caused by wildfires can push animals like rodents and birds and anything attached to them towards cities. A migratory songbird, if it's coming to an area where everything around it is burned, it's kind of likely it's going to come into the city. Now, Sperling cautions that formal research to support this specific theory hasn't yet been completed, but she believes the possibility is reason enough for us all to be on alert for unexpected tick encounters over the year ahead, especially in communities surrounded by wildfires during the 2023 season. As those ticks and the creatures they feed upon may end up carrying diseases like Lyme closer or even into your homes.